What is it time for? What is it time for? Oh, I will. And Sunday after school show. The best. Here goes Benjamin. Hi. Benjamin is joining us today, apparently. Get okay. chairs. This is our pallet wall we made, uh, Xander made last <coughs> Easter. I made last, those things are heavy. Yeah, we there found is. pallets and paint, painted them. They have backdrop for like Mother's Day and Easter photos and they just kind of stuck. When did, we, when did we start that? When was the first time we did that? It was, uh, last year. Oh what, no, what photos? Service? We did it for Easter last year, right? We had set them up for Easter this yeah. year. Easter and, so and Mother's and Day, Benjamin. Father's Day, uh, oh. anniversary. Christmas. Yeah, they just kind of suck. They're big, hard to take apart. and They're really heavy. Did I mention that? So yeah. they're just kind of there. We want to set up this area as like, we have two chairs. Benjamin. That's rude. We want to set up these chairs as like um, a conversational type, uh, potential council type area, a couple of self-help type books that we have previewed and uh, people can borrow um, on a, uh, an honor type basis. Yeah, it's a, or just have them if they want. It's a work in, a price, in yeah. progress. And there's a Christmas tree that Andrew decorated. One of them. We have two in the church now. Yeah. That's one of them. It's as tall as our pallets. Yeah. And with lights on the lights on the pallets for Christmas. We're gonna put up some stockings next week and make it look all pretty, have like a selfie corner because that's not quite as spiritual as the thing we were just talking about, but yeah. it's fun. So how was last week? We originally had a couple we of visits video last planned. Week because we were tired. Uh, we originally had a couple of visits planned. We were gonna go visit uh, Feather, help him clean up his yard, uh, the tree that's fallen, and we were also gonna visit another couple in the church that we're still trying to get to know. And um, there's been some sickness there's going some around. Sickness, yes. And um, then also the one that <coughs> we were going to go visit. He's older and doesn't always hear his phone. And um, he, he isn't home. always home. <laughs> he wasn't home. So we couldn't go he visit. He wasn't him. home? Oh, nope, okay. Wasn't. So we didn't want to go drop by for that reason. Nope. And so we ended up uh, spending most of the week just kind of doing some study and stuff. And um, there was some, some days. Do you guys have days where, like, the whole family is just not really happy? <laughs> And so we had some days like that this week, and um, there was like a lot of, you know, rawness, yelling, and, and not happiness. So we decided Wednesday to go get donuts. We got donuts. And uh, I had gotten for my birthday a coupon for Krispy Kreme that we thought would work here. There's always donuts in the and SAS video somewhere. And our Krispy Kreme is um, about half an hour away through probably the busiest part of town. But uh, we decided to take the kids and go do donuts anyway. And yep. I don't need to eat we a didn't. pencil. Thank you. And uh, we decided to go do that anyway and just go for a drive to get out of the house to try to help change some of the attitudes a little bit. And, and then that rode out through the weekend. Something different, yeah. Something it's different. Fun. Sometimes, no, and there are some weeks, you know, we live on an island, but there are some days that we just don't do a whole lot out of our routine and out of our normal and the tension. And so many people living in a house, I think, uh, you know, it gets you. It happens to everybody, right? So that was a little bit of the week. And then we had um, produce delivery yesterday. We try to do it once a month. There's yep. a, a restaurant delivery company and you can get it to your house and they have a very cheap uh delivery fee and probably the only place i can find <laughs> he's showing us a quiet seat price right, i'm gonna quiet. continue with the pencil if, if it can't stay with you anyway <laughs> sorry i probably did the mom eyes mm, she did, she did. <laughs> pencil. anyway the um yeah, they yeah uh, they're the only house. ones I can get a decent price on, like Brussels sprouts and summer squash, and, and there are some vegetables here that I can't find anywhere else. And well, she doesn't tell you she spends the first week of the month planning out the menu for the week, plus shopping. For, Most for of our month. major shopping for the month is done within the first few days or the yeah. last few days, depending on how it works out. So she does a big giant order at Sam's, she does this order of veggies, and then, yeah, we spent all day yesterday chopping like 900 crowns of broccoli. He actually did more of the chopping than I did. I did, shopping, I did, I did some cooking yeah. and making stuff. But um, if we in, Jeremiah, maybe in the help me, help in the states, the so you can go and you can go get a pack of like frozen green beans, and you can get a frozen this and frozen that, <coughs> and the the variety and the quality here is very much limited because they eat a lot more of the root vegetables and um, uh, plantains and and uh, yep. green bananas like the starchy bananas that some of you may not be familiar with. And um, yeah, it just, you don't see a lot of the green vegetables. Salad hasn't been arriving, um, you know, just like other places. Some 
costs have gone up. There's some things that just don't get shipped here. And um, so we do yeah. extra work, but it's okay. It's yeah, not, so we do that so we can get our freezer stocked, so it's we can have for us. some. Freezer's very full now, yes. Yeah, all of our help it does a little bit better when we can have that on hand. Yep. So, so it's a little it's extra. Quick. Yeah. So we do have one Saturday a month that we try to do kind of a larger where we don't do other ministry stuff. Um, we're just basically doing that. And then um, we. We're having some Bible studies on Saturday <coughs> virtually. But, trying um, to. Trying to have Bible uh, studies. That's another thing altogether. Yeah. I talked uh, to, I did spend the day talking to one of the ladies in the church, and she gave me a little bit of insight about that and shared some um, some stuff that's been on our heart. She's been with us for years. Real sweet, real serving lady. Yeah, and um, family's very sick right now. Somebody in the family is very sick, and her brother is the one who was involved in the, um, in the Bible study and gave some insight about what's going on there. And so... It seems like there's sincerity and that he wants to study but has some life circumstances that are very challenging. And it's really easy to say to someone like that, well, you know, you just find some time. If you want it to happen, you just find some time. And it's, it's not always that cut and dry, though. I know. It's kind of what us, I told him because some of us think that way. And... Yeah, some of us think that way. But from my understanding, just some life circumstances are just really challenging. And um, Sometimes people do have the only hours they have are like midnight, you know, because they're literally yeah, we, doing something else with their which time. Which is why we talked about switching this it's not always to bad. Uh, Wednesday nights instead of Saturday mornings or something like that. So yeah, I told them, I'm like, oh, we get up work at 8 o'clock. I'm like, cool. I'm up till like 10, 11 every night. Yeah. So if you want to do it by phone after work, that's fine. I am still available to do that as long as we don't have other yeah. commitments. And if I don't have other commitments right now, so let's make mm -hmm. one. So we found that the uh, phone calls lately have been getting us to spend like way more time talking to people than mm -hmm. we were ever before. They want to talk to me after church on Sunday. There's not enough time between service after service no. to talk to everybody, counsel everybody. But we found that calling them or having them call us, text them. We've been, we've been communicating a lot more with church lately that way. If you guys don't know, Sunday else. morning is not the day to get counsel from your pastor that, um, you know, you need to go speak about the thing that's been bothering you all week. Just call them during the week and uh, set up a time to talk <laughs> or meet with them. And, and just my free advice for yeah, you. Yeah, Sunday morning he wants to preach and preach. But it's not only that, he's also trying to get to the visitors, he's also trying to get to anybody who else who needs that, he doesn't want to offend anybody by not uh, shaking some hand or something like that, and probably just trying to remember like if he ate lunch, you know, or, or something like that. Before church? Uh, well, not before church, but you know, uh, a snack maybe at some point, they expend a lot of men, expend a lot of extra energy during that time period, and they get hungry. Oh, it's twice. <laughs> so, twice. Yeah. A lot of so, them twice. So just save it and, you know, maybe ask him how he's doing, you know, maybe ask how, um, you know, share something that a blessing that's happened to you through the week and then save the, I need to talk about the or thing. Tell him, tell him if you like his preaching. He likes that. That, yeah. yeah. And, um, cause we're so, tell we're him so about humble. <laughs> but it just helps because there's days that are discouraging. Like I know for me, we had a, a good Bible study on, on Thursday and even today the services, it was zero issues as far as, you know, uh, how the service went but um sometimes you're distracted like for me like your brain is somewhere else or you might just be dealing with uh personal issues even you know at times issues of either sin or just distractions and maybe there's nothing wrong at all but your brain is just somewhere else so you can't focus and the enemy is just very much in your brain and and today was just one of those days it was absolutely zero problems with Zachary. church and the kids class and I'm there teaching the kids and the kids are like amazingly attentive but and I think that's just God's grace in it all but yeah I was just kind of distracted and with just different things to do different um issues that need to be resolved and and they're not always bad they're just, just where your brain is just a lot going on yeah it's just a lot going on we have families who are sick we have some upcoming uh, meetings and appointments and various things and like I said nothing just like yeah super life-changing or or bad it's just have you been there you know you can tell us in the comments have you ever been there that where you're just distracted right and and god just gives a lot of grace for that and and so the kids were good i think the only issue we had with the um little boys was i looked up at one point during the english service and benjamin had managed to slide under oh, about yeah, 10 chairs yeah um, scoot, scoot, scoot. He had 10 chairs on his belly like and he was on the other side of the church yeah. <laughs> so and um there was um some stomping and some um things because he didn't want to stay with me <laughs> but otherwise it was good i feel like i'm talking a lot so yeah you kind of are but that's okay i let you talk they, yeah. they like you better than me um and then uh, we were up late too it's we had to um <laughs> We were also late. That plays into it, though, because uh, a couple of late nights during the week, you know, a week of just kind of attitudes and stuff being a little bit off, and then um, 
then last night like a part of that was uh the one of the parades if you haven't seen it check out our our playlist of christmas uh holidays in puerto rico uh navidad part two we had a surprise uh, political slash political thing mm -hmm. christmas parade and of course it's a week where the iron has broken as well so you can close ready for church and yeah just Perfect little it's a bunch of little stuff so yeah he did he he's awesome he fixed the dryer so at least we can do that that's right so for the closing awesome. the thing <laughs> what'd you win today what's that a pencil. No, I know it's a pencil. How'd you get a pencil? Yeah, I want a pencil. Mike, he wrote to me for the quiet seat prize. Quiet How do you earn prize. the quiet seat prize? I stay in my seat and didn't interrupt. Shout out to all the children's, children's church workers everywhere that uh, This you know, is a miracle know about for this child, y'all. Uh, this yeah. is the kid who I wasn't sure if we were going to get him transitioned to big kid class, but he's good. He did well. And... Yeah, there was no weird um, accidents for potty training, things like that. So Not today, cool. no, that was good. But okay, so we're wait a minute. Some people out, some people sick, stuff like that. Yeah, but, there's uh, some with family that got COVID. Yeah, so somebody we, has COVID again. We uh, yeah, personally, we were wearing around. masks today to be a little extra careful. Not necessarily afraid of it, just really don't want to get sick. Mostly for so, other safe. <laughs> yeah. But uh, some people have. Because if we get sick, issues. then uh, we don't have other people to be able to. When you have a small, you have a small stuff, church and people get sick, it it has an impact on the whole church because. It can look almost like where'd everybody go, and you know different things. So we had um, three families in each service. No, it's fine. It's so and the, uh, Alejandro, no, that's not what he goes by. He goes by Alexander. Alexander. Goes like me. So yeah. Uh, came then coming. Came, for some reason, comes to English service and Spanish. He doesn't understand any English at all. But he comes to both services. He wants to learn English. But um, I got a chance to talk to him after service today uh, for a little while, and he's still having a hard time. But he's not safe yet. And we were talking to him. I was able to sit down. And, Yes. Oh, can you give me a Bible? Yeah, we can get your Bible. I got one in the house. We bring you one this week. Um, we gave out all the ones we had last year, so we got to get some more. But I said, I got one at the house you can have. And they gave him this book of Romans and went outside and talked for a few minutes and be able to uh, share the gospel with him again today. That's the first time I've been able to share it to him clearly for more than a few minutes, and he's been able to listen. And I told him to think about this week on this thought. I don't know if he's ready to be saved yet, but uh, just this idea is, oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he says, you guys in the Catholic Church have a lot in common. Uh -huh. And I was like, what? Like, we have, like, zero in common. <laughs> oh, well, you sing and you preach. It. Yeah, we do that. And we, you know, we have a building and stuff. Um, otherwise, we have nothing in common. That's funny. I tried to explain it. I was like, you know, I said, don't, I'm not trying to attack them or anything. But I said, they got a lot of rituals and things. But if you get into it, you're going to find that our message is completely different. And he doesn't yet understand doctrine or well, our a belief system. Right now, yeah. Exactly. You he can't. said, well, he said this morning, he said, I'm, uh, I'm Catholic and Baptist because I like Baptist and I'm even watching Baptist on TV now. Like, oh, that's good. Good start. You know, so maybe there's somebody else they listen to. But, <laughs> he's been um, really receptive. He's enjoying and, it. And if you don't remember, he's the guy that's been um, by himself. He's struggling. Um, yep. He was out of work. Um, he's um, a, a little bit of an alcohol problem. But uh, we don't know to what degree. We just know that it's there. Yep. And uh, he hasn't spoken to us about it specifically. We just, you know, you notice things. We know it's happening, yep. So, but, um, uh, he, he let me talk him He's today been coming. And, and, and we uh, weren't sure. We thought at one point we were going to lose him a little bit because the work situation was having some, some tension. I went to work but, for a guy in church, and it didn't quite work out the way we wanted to. But he's okay. We were like, yeah, it's just mm -hmm. not a job for me. And so I pray he can find a good job because um, he does construction work and stuff like that. He needs to find some mm -hmm. work. But uh, most importantly, pray, pray that he'll be receptive to the gospel. I told him I'm going to call been... later on this week. We're going to talk and sit down for a little while and go through the scriptures again. Mm -hmm. I went through Romans with him. And we have we were given these nice little uh, books of Romans from the college here. And they have a really good gospel presentation in the front. So we just went through that today for, the, for a few minutes. And I showed him this verse about uh, the gospel is, uh, is given freely. And I said, anything that is not free is not the gospel. And I said, this is where you'll find the Catholics and others are going to be very different from us. Is we say it's free. Jesus paid the price. You receive it. You believe by faith. You repent. But you don't do anything to get it. And everybody that teaches differently, they're not teaching salvation. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, God understands the concept before you understand anything else. Because I think he's got this idea of working hard and doing right and being good to get saved. And um, I'm trying to get him past that point. But mm -hmm. uh, And then I talked to uh, Alfredo next week. I, I called him this week. Like I said situation back when wanted his mom she's catholic speaking of catholic his mom's catholic and she wanted he wanted to come for the baptist baptist baptismal baptist baptist you know what's the word baptism. baptism yeah baptism wow three different wrong words <laughs> <sighs> i 
I said in Spanish, I got that one right. The more you learn anyway, another language, the worse the you, you get in your English, original. Yeah. That, and you that usually end up at kind of mediocrity in both languages. We're going to dunk him. <laughs> anyway, so he said next Sunday, he's going to come do it. Uh, he's going to be off, and he's going to come next Sunday and do it, whether she's here or not. I told him we're recording everything. But he's, I, I just kind of encourage him to go ahead and make the decision, make the next step. He finally uh, realized it's possible she may never come, she, and, she and probably, it's comfortable doing it either way. Yeah, so we went ahead and just told him to go ahead and, yeah. go ahead and make the steps and, uh, and so. like I said, switch to discipleship for classes and things like that. Got to meet with a couple people this week. Uh, want to call me and talk to me. I got one. I got a call. I got to check on everybody else. It's going to be busy again this week. Just following everybody in the church. Uh, had one that's been out for a couple weeks. Got to see what's up with them. Just stuff like that. One of the other guys, a new guy in our English service also, last week had a double ear infection, throat infection, all kinds of stuff. Miserable. And uh, so he's been, he said it's, it's gotten way worse. One of our primary ladies who's just been working in the food pantry, she has yep. um, got a, a nasty kind of chest thing. Yeah, she dropped her husband off this morning and left because she's like, she can't stay coming to church. Yeah, and her husband so can't bad. drive, so. So uh, I was like, we'll take you home. Oh, no, she'll be back to get me later. <laughs> so enough, got here at 12.30. Yeah, she just doesn't want anybody else to get sick. So they're yeah. they're in their 70s, but they're like the strongest 70-year-olds <laughs> yeah. I've ever met in my life. Super Where's active. your bag of turmeric? Is that in the car? Yeah. We'll show them turmeric this morning. We brought uh, turmeric. Yeah, we yeah. grew turmeric. We planted Joshua. it and, and stuff. So. Andrew, we're going to turmeric out of the car. Andrew's on it. Andrew, yeah, he just, I'll go get On it Sunday, out. he's like our I'll administrator of all the things. He just goes and, and runs, and he's like, he's there and there. He knows how it runs, and he just yeah, he does his make, thing. I was like, Andrew, can you make coffee? Yep, oh, make coffee. Okay, got cool. it, done. Decorate, yeah, fix check the tables. Mm -hmm. Did that, did that, got that. Okay, cool. Turmeric. We want to be careful Here to make sure that it doesn't get so dun, dun, dun. routine, though, that they miss Christ. I can't open the bag with one hand. Sorry. My hand is busy. Raw. That smells good. Turmeric. Have you seen it? It's, it looks like ginger, but it's orange. It smells delicious and it smells like dirt. Mm -hmm. Dirty. But it's really we good. This, this came we, out of our garden. We almost always uh, have it. some on hand in, in powder form, but um, apparently you can plant one of these. They're rhizomes. They're not considered a, a, a seed. Yep. They're rhizomes and they will grow. Yeah, it so we planted time. one and we got all that. And then we're not planting again because the next year we won't be in the house. It takes too long to get But it takes it. about eight months to grow and then you can get, you know, this much. <laughs> and you can plant this and you can grow a whole field of it. And maybe I just put this in the ground at the house and wait for the next person to be like, what's that up there? And then let it grow. Too. Anyway. Our strawberry plants are perking up too, so we'll see yeah. if they'll give strawberries. We had thought one time we were going to do a podcast, we were going to call it. Um, Doctrine and dirt. Doctrine dirt and, dirt. and doctrine because we yep. talked about this idea. We're talking about like family dirt, like growing dirt. Yeah, growing <laughs> dirt, you know, church dirt. Not whatever. dirt like as in gossip, but dirt as in um, just the gritty stuff, you know, yeah, the, the reality stuff. stuff. And then do and doctrine because, you know. And most of our kids usually have dirt somewhere on their face. Like. He does not. He's <laughs> clean. Okay. No, I think it's Benjamin. Benjamin's got something on his cheek. <laughs> and, uh, no, yeah. So we, we grow stuff, yeah. Something's grow I've about 10 plant beans right now at the house. And you have some dirt, dirt on your dirt. Arm. Found it. Dirt. There you go. <laughs> anyway. But uh, that's our tumor. And we gave some of the church so they can plant some. Uh, we always share seeds and things with folks. And when we get back, we want to have a lot more of that planted. That would be fun. But we're learning now with how to do it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so yeah, I got people call this week. Uh, we got a couple of... Doctrine and dirt. People should tell us also in the comments, like, should we do it? Dirt and doctrine do doctrine it? and dirt. We have two microphones with the computer now. We can do a podcast. Should we do a podcast? Would you, like, actually want to hear us ramble? <laughs> I mean, you listen to it now in video. It's not any different week. than uh, what we're doing at home. It'd just be more theology. Yeah. Or like, I can, for uh, just a little bit about what we're learning this week and the application of it all. Yeah. Or actual theology and stuff. Or actual theology. Like, bring up a topic and then, like, explain this in 30 seconds and go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather talk about dirt than planting <laughs> stuff. I'm better at that than theology. Yeah. I like that one too. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this week meetings. We have a couple of meetings. We also have a couple of follow-up meetings with our partnership development that we're doing. Um, we're still some people to talk to about that. Maybe we can uh, work through that this week as well. And uh, getting closer to Christmas. Here we go. Notre Dame Buena. Notre Buena is bigger here than the Christmas itself. Christmas yeah. Eve. Notre Dame Buena is yeah, but it's a little. Um, it sounds different than it was. It sounds like it would be at night, but our service is actually in the morning. Yeah, People seem morning. to expect that um, even. It's because of a Catholic tradition. They expect to to go to church at some point that evening yep. or that day. That morning, yeah. So, so they get over in the morning so they can do the shopping at the last minute. Or go yeah, to their family, I don't know. family parties for, for Christmas Eve. 
And uh, also, they have the big the the cities have the big uh, Christmas lighting. Um, they'll have a night where they have uh, like people bands oh, well, and all that stuff we'll, we'll, we'll probably we we'll go out. We're gonna go Christmas light looking hunting in a couple of days, and we'll do a video. We'll edit it and like put it together so you can see the squares of Puerto Rico. Yeah, they actually do uh, ice skating rinks. It doesn't get below seventy here, but they do yeah. ice skating outdoors. I don't know if they do it this year. Uh, I'll have to find out my what's doing. I think I saw something about a, a globe or I don't know. a globe something. Yeah, this mayor is very popular this year, so yeah, he's, trying, money? To, That'd be he's cool. trying to do all the things. Well, you can, like grab money. Well, they want to make it. I heard that our plaza is the second largest on the island. That's my understanding. I don't know. Not us. I don't know. We tried. But we made it on the 21 visit to light Christmas lights place to 21. visit. There's only like... And the news, they'll do uh, Christmas tree decorating competitions as well, and people submit their photos and they vote, and I don't know what they win, but we submit our photo they're like tree. thematic. Uh, no, they're like, they decorate way differently, and they, um, they're thematic. Thematic. And, um, yeah. Most of them are ugly. It's a different style. Mm -hmm. Very, very different. Ugly. It's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew likes it. Andrew says, like no, it. it's not. <laughs> well, you have to get on the video. Sorry, you can't talk them off camera. You have to come over here. You tell them about your Christmas tree decorated? No. Not at all? We already talked about you. Jeremiah, you're going to talk about what we learned in class? Any of it? Learned nothing quiet. What happened, in, what happened in the story in class? What did you learn about this morning? Thanks. Thanks for those insights. It was very helpful. You looked at my face. What was everywhere? What was all? There was frogs. Flocks. Flies. Flies. Can you, you guess, guess what we're talking about now? Flies. <laughs> Flies. Yeah. Hail. 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 Yeah. I don't know where he gets that from. <laughs> yeah. Else? They're talking about the, uh, Moses. We're at the, the point in time where we started from the beginning. We're using a curriculum that is really excellent. actually goes through all the books of the Bible in, in order. And uh, we're at the point where Moses is uh, coming out of Egypt and how they needed to be prepared for the trip that he had to show both Egypt and Israel who they were. And they had been in captivity for so long that they were not the same people that were under Joseph. You know, they had to, they had to be shown again who God was that, and, and to be careful. That, that and most likely they were just as... The blood. Very good. Yeah. Yep. Most likely they the were just as, as deserving of the punishment as the Egyptians were, but they were now setting them apart. You know, he was going to take them to the Promised Land. Of course, so. cool because, you know, yeah. we just, the kids just learned about Egypt and homeschooling this week. Yep, it so. is cool. We're, we we just, we connected that. So we talked about the fact that they had gods of the sun, they had gods of the river, they had gods, and so how God attacked a lot of those places where they actually had gods to show that only He had the power of those things. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then a lot of times when we portray these stories, we portray it as if um, you know Israel was such a holy. Uh, group of people at this time period, but it, it actually doesn't really. Yeah, he's remembering all the plagues. He's remembering now. Good job, Jeremiah. But it actually doesn't really say that, and um, it's pretty reasonable to say that they were probably having to be set apart and, and had really been very distant from the, the yeah, law and the things at that time period. And stuff. Law, yeah. Right. That's true. So, but distant from, from the ideal. I mean, even Jacob and the others were not <laughs> such great so Christians. Like they weren't chosen the because they were so faithful and so amazing. They were chosen because they were just chosen. They were chosen because they were chosen. Well, because God just chose them. There's your doctrine podcast thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, time for we feel day. very much I'm important to. What was the green thing on my paper that I was calling on? Green thing on your paper? The green thing? Yeah. I don't know. The plants? Mm. But we feel and very strongly to make sure we don't paint. Plant and plants. Yeah. Cool. We just feel very strongly to make sure that we don't paint pictures for the kids that are not um, accurate you know that we we're not inspiring to be these main great men of faith because we're so perfect you know god used people where they were and turned them into the strong men of faith that they were not because they were so no, from the start a big fault in a lot of children's curriculum in the church that we've seen is it is geared to teach a moral lesson but it doesn't teach the bible to the kids and they don't, they, I don't know why, they, they don't think they can handle it. I don't really know what yeah. this is. Even Moses, he's like over there tending his sheep and stuff. And he's like, uh, I want you to go do this. And he's like, uh, I can't do that. Yeah. But, you, but I, I can't do that. 
was but, like but I, 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 I can't that. do that either. And, you know, he wasn't exactly this great, powerful, faithful man of God, you know. And he was angry. So. And he had a temper. And he, and he was... Uh, he killed somebody. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and even as he's leading the, the people around, he's like, "These people that and you gave me, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, why are you?" Yeah, that, yeah. So, and, but God used them, and and it's okay. What, so. What's the thing they say? I don't know. You kind of kept kinda going. going. <laughs> people are listening to you. We don't know what you're saying. And then we saw a song. We saw a song. Um, What song did we sing? What song did we sing in Total Church? You remember? We call them Vita Kids. Vita Kids. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't made um, that official yet. I don't know. No, I no, hold the I think that's how it is. I don't like the verse. It. It's, <laughs> it's based off the verse in Hosea. I that, um, where he was speaking to Israel and he said, hey, that same God that was from Egypt, you know, he's still the same one. Don't be worshiping these other people because there's no other God. So. Yep. We sang Christmas songs. We sang Joy of the World. And yeah, well, people like that. They like Christmas songs. Last place we sang Alegria, which is a lot Spanish. Of long. Sings more than Spanish songs. Like Spanish. A lot of loud singing because people like Christmas yeah, songs. I don't know if you like Christmas songs that much. I know it's terrible. There's something wobbly. I'm very selective on which Christmas songs I sing because they have to have good theology for me to sing them in church. And a lot of them do not have good theology. And so I don't Are you going to use your pencil to do some drawings this week? Yeah. He's been, um, almost, lot, a, almost yeah. every morning he'll grab a notebook and he's like drawing his notebook and he, he'll sit there for an hour or two and just drawing his notebook. So, I always remember something about Christmas music. Every year when we get ready to sing Christmas music, I remember, I forget how to play half the songs that are Christmas songs. That what key they're supposed to be in and everything else. And I have it written down in my thingy, but I still forget which one it's in. <laughs> I put them, all, <clears throat> put them all together, and then I'm like, that was wrong. And then I'll fix it the next time. But I, I do it every year. I make the same mistake every year. I haven't yeah. learned my lesson yet. I'll figure out these days. The video's getting long, so. Yeah, I know. But I'm yappity, yappity. <laughs> Somebody was, yeah. And, and Mr. over here. Apparently he thinks it's at a dental exam. No, we'll show this one. The church is too long. We found out somebody's actually showing our SAS videos at the church. Um, maybe pick the short ones. I don't know. We'll make nicer videos in the church. Maybe yeah. Show the Christmas videos in the church. We could also that. always do a uh, shorter update. So if somebody is, is looking if for If you want that, somebody to show in your church that's not 30 minutes long, 26, 41, whatever it is now. Probably 30 by the time we get done. Yep. Um, let us know, and we'll, we'll record a short video. We can do like a video version of a Slightly less or... sassy. Slightly more, you know. Nice. I'll probably still be sassy. I mean, I'm in it, so yeah. That's the way it works. Mm-hmm. This is who we are. But uh, we can do that. We said we do that for something all because we get to the people are showing our videos now. What? Who you are. Right. Don't start. <laughs> Seeking Moana or something. No. No? No. I don't know what you're doing. That's something in my head. And we. <sighs> and and we, and we drew stuff. We drew stuff. And rolled a 10. Oh, yeah, we did a game where they <coughs> had to close their eyes and, and draw a bunch of things on their paper. And then the kids like that. They thought it was funny. <laughs> they had to draw a number 10 and a river. Oh, you can't talk, you're not the video. A frog, and, and then they had to write an entire sentence in Spanish ri- without looking. And a river. A river. And frog. Ranas. Josh, what's up? And a frog. Rana. And a frog. Moscas. And um. And um. There's Benjamin. Flowers. Okay. Flores. That's probably enough now. Thank you for sharing all, all right, the fun let's stuff. Let's pray that the people in the church can be well and um, for the continued growth of the food pantry and um, yeah. Just with them all the various for meetings Alexander through the week. And we have Alexander and Alfredo, too. especially, because yep. they have some decisions to make. Yep. And they're trying to grow. They're sincere. They're really trying to grow. Yep. And then, um, and then uh, people like Francisco, who is um, just struggling, and um, they need some just some stuff to keep them grounded. You know. So we have more people. So we have more things going on in the works. Yeah. That's okay. Though. They were sharing with us this morning. They're getting mold on their clothes in their closet, and so they're having to try to figure out how to do that. Um, here, there's so much humidity, so much that you don't think about it, but there's a lot of just like mold in the air. And, and uh, yeah, it takes a lot of intentionality to get it. Just, there was one, uh, we visited the dog sanctuary, they could pressure wash almost daily. 
and the green mold grows back on the concrete because they don't get any direct sunlight in certain parts of yeah. the area. So yeah, it's one of those things. I mean, mm -hmm. we don't have that problem at our house. Also, fortunately, it doesn't seem like we just get dust, all the dust. Dust. That's another story altogether. Yeah. yeah. So we dust. We dust every every couple of days, but we don't have mold. So maybe the dust kills the mold. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Cool. But we also don't have any trees in our yard, and so the house is hot. So it's dry season, though. It's not, it's not raining as much. Our yard is yeah. actually not a uh, mud puddle. The dog's not brown it's anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, from the mud. Yeah. So. But anyway, so yeah, let us know if you want a short video for your church, and we will send you one. Uh, and otherwise, like informal, quick have update fun, things. Yeah, like two or three minutes, so. not thirty. Ow. Told you we get thirty minutes. Also, about. if you have specific questions, specific questions about the island, how it is, uh, mm -hmm. certain cultural things, whatever, we can try to do. Uh, video updates about those specific things and, yep. and create some playlists about that. So yep. just we are doing the Christmas playlist let now. Let you know we're about the Christmas, uh, and we're gonna do a lot more of those before the end of the year from now until Three Kings. Uh, we've been here eight years, but we've never really done any like documentary of what we'll it's like. like going to a store one so day. So we'll take or something. we'll show you a few things along the way. Maybe add some videos together, whatever. Let us know if you want to see more of that. Like going, just going to a grocery store, yep. or um, like with the birds flying on the roof. And Different Very random things, driving up a big road or something like that, you know. Okay, so you can find a, a day that's got a, a, a pig and a cow tongue and stuff. Yep, anyway. <laughs> we will see you guys next Jeremiah, Sunday. That's rude. Nobody wants to see your tongue. Please put your tongue away. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, Benjamin. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.